This video tutorial demonstrates how to use the Maptitude Routing Manager. Make sure that your map contains the Here Street layer that is included in your country package. First, click this button to display the Routing Manager. There are several ways to choose the locations that you want to visit on your route. The first method is to enter an address. For example, I want to start from my office, so I will enter 1172 Beacon Street, and then I can type the city, for example, Newton MA, or the postal code 02461. When I click Add, the first stop is added to the itinerary. A second method is to click this button and use a point layer. This is particularly useful if you have many stops that you want to add. Choose the layer to use, in my case the customer layer. Choose whether to use all of the records in the layer or a filtered selection set. If you already have a field that lists the order to visit the stops, you would choose it here. Otherwise, choose none and set the order yourself in the routing manager or have Maptitude determine the order. And finally, you can choose a field to use to identify the stops. I'm going to choose my customer's name for the stop name. When I click OK, you can see that my customers have now been added to the itinerary. The last method for adding stops is to use this tool to manually click on the map at stop locations. If I right click on a stop in the routing manager, you can see that there are several options. I can schedule, rename, or remove a stop. For example, I'm going to schedule a 30 minute stop with this customer. And I'm going to remove this last stop that I manually added. You can also change the order of the stops by highlighting a stop in the list and using either of these buttons to move the stop up or down. If the stops are in the order that you want to visit them, click Get Directions. Maptitude finds the fastest route to visit the stops in the specified order. You can see that this route covers 82.3 miles and requires 3 hours and 42 minutes of driving time. Click the plus buttons to see the directions from stop to stop. You can also click this button to create a PDF file with the route directions. The first page will have a map with the overall route, and then successive pages will show the stop to stop directions and maps from stop to stop. Now, instead of manually setting the stop order, you can have Maptitude optimize a route that requires less driving. If I click Optimize, you can see that Maptitude finds a route that is much faster. This route is only 42.9 miles and requires just 2 hours and 33 minutes of driving time. There are several additional route options available in the Routing Manager. Click this button to open the Route Options dialog box. On the General tab, you can choose whether to find the route based on distance or travel time. You can choose Optimization Options. For example, if I wanted my route to return back to my office when I'm finished, I could check this box. And you can choose to use the stop names on the map. On the Driving Speeds tab, you can make adjustments based on the road class. And, on the Itinerary tab, you can set the driving schedule and fuel consumption parameters. Now, if I click Optimize again, you'll see that the route now returns to my office where I started, and the stops are labeled with the stop names. Click this button to save a route, click this button to clear the stops and routes, And finally, you can click this button to open a saved route. And that wraps up this tutorial on finding routes with Maptitude.